16 Things You Didn't Know About Gucci. Welcome to Luxfy. We talk about fashion, travel, money, and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing the 16 things you didn't know about Gucci. Gucci is a luxury fashion house based in Florence, Italy. Its product lines include handbags, ready-to-wear, footwear, accessories, makeup, fragrances, and home decoration. Gucci was founded in 1921 by Guccio Gucci in Florence, Tuscany. Under the direction of Aldo Gucci, son of Guccio, Gucci became a worldwide known brand, an icon of the Italian Dolce Vita. Following family feuds during the 1980s, the Gucci family was entirely ousted from the company by 1993. During the 2010s, Gucci became an iconic geek chic brand. In 2019, Gucci had 487 stores worldwide and generated more than 9 billion euros in sales. At the end of the video, there is a bonus information I guarantee you will enjoy. So, without further ado, here are 16 things you didn't know about Gucci. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram, at Luxfy.com. Number 16. Gucci is an Italian brand inspired by the London way of living. Guccio Gucci was born in Florence and moved to London in 1897 to work at the high-end Savoy Hotel. While working as a bellhop there, he would load and unload the luggage of the hotel's wealthy clients, learning about their taste in fashion, quality fabrics, traveling conditions and way of living. In 1921, Guccio went back to Florence where he opened Azienda Individuale Guccio Gucci, where he sold imported leather luggage. He also opened a small workshop to have his own leather goods made by local craftsmen. Number 15. The fascist regime in Italy forced Gucci to use less leather. In 1935, the invasion of Ethiopia by Mussolini led the League of Nations to impose a trade embargo on Italy. Leather became scarce, pushing Gucci to introduce other fabrics in the composition of the product, such as raffia, wicker, wood, linen, and jute. During this time, the rhombi motif, a Gucci signature, was created. And in 1937, Gucci launched its first handbag. Number 14. Aldo Gucci was responsible for the worldwide Gucci expansion. After the war, Guccio Gucci distributed the shares of the company to his three sons, Aldo, Vasco and Rodolfo. At that time, the brand launched its first global tagline. Quality is remembered long after price is forgotten. I wonder if that is an excuse for high prices. In November 1953, Gucci opened its first US store on the 5th Avenue in New York. A second New York shop opened in the St. Regis Hotel in 1960, and a third on the 5th Avenue in 1973, leading the locals to call this New York area as the Gucci City. In 1961, Gucci opened stores in London and Palm Beach. Then, in 1963, they opened their first store in France. In 1968, Gucci opened a store on Rodeo Drive, making many Hollywood stars fall in love with the brand. Gucci's breakthrough in the US led to its global development in Asia and the Middle East. By 1969, Gucci managed 10 shops in the US. John F. Kennedy called Aldo Gucci the first Italian ambassador to the United States. Number 13. The iconic Gucci loafer was designed in 1953. In 1953, Gucci created a loafer entirely inspired by the equestrian lifestyle so beloved of its creator, Aldo Gucci. The result was the iconic horsebit shoe we know today, a simple leather loafer embellished with a metal horsebit. Until this day, it is still widely popular and one of the top-selling Gucci products. Number 12. The Jackie bag was originally called the 50s Constance. Launched in 1961, the Jackie bag was originally called the 50s Constance. But in the 1970s, when former First Lady Jackie Kennedy was photographed shielding herself from the paparazzi with one of those bags, it became synonymous with her chic sense of style and her name. 
The Jackie bag has been relaunched several times since its birth. We have all seen the bag trending since the Gucci Fall Winter 2020 collection. Haven't you seen this bag in any of Harry Styles' looks? Although the bag is going through a real revival right now, I guarantee you that this is one of those bags that never go out of style. Number 11. The Flora Scarf was designed for Grace Kelly. The Flora Scarf was designed in 1966 by Rodolfo Gucci and Vittorio Acornero for Grace Kelly, Princess of Monaco, who became a notorious consumer of Gucci products. In a visit to Gucci's flagship store in Milan, Grace Kelly met Rodolfo Gucci, who wished to present her with a gift. Yet, nothing seemed quite befitting for a woman of her considerable renown, and so the flora print was born. This print is a Gucci classic that is certainly on my wish list. Number 10. The famous double G logo stands for Gucci or Gucci. We all know the logo. We all want the logo. The Gigi logo was not created by Guccio himself. It was designed in 1960 to honor him after his death. If you are enjoying this video so far, we strongly recommend you to subscribe to our channel so we can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 9. There was a family fight to obtain the control of Gucci. During the 80s, while the Gucci company was passing to the third generation of the Gucci family, big family feuds began emerging. In 1983, Rodolfo Gucci died and passed the majority stake of the company to his son Maurizio, who then started a legal battle with his uncle Aldo in order to have full control of Gucci. Not only did he succeed, but that also led to the sentencing of one year in prison to Aldo Gucci, who, at that time, was 81 years old. Number 8. Gucci stopped being a family company. In 1988, Maurizio Gucci sold almost 50% of Gucci to the Bahrain-based investment fund InvestCorp and withheld the other 50%. From 1991 to 1993, Gucci's finances were still in red, Maurizio was blamed for spending extravagant amounts of money on the company's headquarters in Florence and in Milan. Investcorp bought the remaining 50% of Guccio Gucci SPA from Maurizio in 1993, ending the family involvement in the group. Number 7. Don Mello was responsible for putting Gucci back on tracks. The 1980s were characterized by a mass production of Gucci products, which generated revenue but negatively affected Gucci's position as an exclusive luxury brand. Don Mello was hired in November 1989 as Gucci executive vice president and chief designer. She reduced the number of stores from more than 1,000 to 180 in a move to rebuild the brand's exclusivity. She also reduced the number of items sold by Gucci from 22,000 to 7,000. She revived the bamboo bag and the Gucci loafer. She moved Gucci's headquarters back from Milan to Florence, where the history of Gucci is deeply rooted. Number 6. Gucci did a porno chic revival in 1995. In 1994, Tom Ford was named creative director of Gucci. Ford and Mallows revisited the 1970s archives of the brand and Ford's 1995 collection, which included the sensual white dresses with provocative cutouts, became an instant hit. Revived through the hot bod hedoism of Tom Ford's creation, Gucci also launched provocative products in limited editions, such as silver handcuffs, a G-string, and provocative ad campaigns, such as the G-logo shaved on pubic hair. Number 5. The androgynous feel and geek chic style are the hallmarks of the new Gucci. After the tremendous success of Gucci during the Tom Ford era, the sales started slumping again. In 2015, Alessandro Michel was appointed as the new creative director and he introduced a different Gucci one with a sophisticated, intellectual and androgynous feel. 
he revived Gucci classics like the Double G logo, the Jackie bag, and created iconic products, such as the Dionysus bag. With a feminized menswear, a strong feminist stance, and a geek chic style, Alessandro Michel introduced a post-gender props for Gucci. Number 4. Gucci has a bookstore in New York. Recalling the spirit of New York's small independent bookstores, the Gucci Worcester Bookstore speaks to the truly literary souls of today. Among the carefully selected 2000 titles are contemporary used and rare books on fashion and lifestyle, youth culture, art, interiors and architecture, illustration, design, and photography. Located on Soho, this is an amazing place to stop by on your next visit to the city. Number 3. Gucci has two restaurants. One located in Beverly Hills and the other in Florence, the Gucci Osteria da Massimo Bottura is the perfect combination of fashion and food. The idea of the restaurant was born from the childhood friendship of the Gucci CEO Marco Bizzari and the Italian chef Massimo Bottura. In 2019, the Osteria was awarded a Michelin star. The complete tasting menu with wine pairing is 215 euros per person. Can you imagine a more luxurious restaurant to dine in? I know I'm already hungry. Number 2. The most expensive Gucci item ever sold was a belt. Gucci and the Gold Strike International, the global leader in customized luxury goods and gifts, jointly created this Gucci Stuart Hughes belt, which is the most expensive Gucci item in the world, with a value of up to 250,000 US dollars. The belt contains 30 carats of flawless diamonds set in the pure platinum Gucci logo. Number 1. Gucci launched a collection with the North Face in 2020. Celebrating the spirit of discovery, the Gucci and the North Face collab explores the deeper parallels between the two brands in equipping those who seek adventure, challenging the status quo and quests for self-expression. The resulting collection for men and women includes ready-to-wear accessories, footwear and equipment. All pieces reveal a unified logo, melding the North Face Half Dome and the Gucci's web stripe. Outerwear silhouettes and equipments are inspired by original designs from the North Face in the 70s. That's a wrap on our list of the 16 things you didn't know about Gucci. Let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Is there anything we left out of the list? Tell us which brands you would like to know more about. And for sticking with us this far, here is some bonus information. The movie House of Gucci launches in November of 2021. House of Gucci is an upcoming American biographical crime film directed by Radley Scott. The film is based on the 2001 book The House of Gucci, a sensational story of murder, madness, glamour and greed by Sarah Gay Forden. It stars Lady Gaga in the role of Patrizia Reggiani, who was tried and convicted of orchestrating the assassination of her husband, Maurizio Gucci, portrayed by Adam Driver. The film also stars Al Pacino, Jared Leto, Jack Houston, Reeve Carney, Salma Hayek and Jeremy Irons. Can you imagine the looks they will serve us? I know you are excited. <laughs> Thank you for spending some time with us and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, we'll provide you the best fashion, travel and luxury content possible. See you soon!